Hold up. Yo, what is going on guys? It's FoxyDude98 here and welcome to Q&A on a Sunday. Now, last week I decided to do a Q&A announcement video asking if you guys wanted to see a Q&A. You guys hit over five likes, which is what I wanted. And you also sent me in some questions, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you very much for that. Um, if you haven't seen my face, right here. Um, I just decided to do a face cam, I suppose. There was no intention of doing it. I mean, all these questions don't tell me that I need to use my face. But I thought I might as well anyway, just in case none of you guys knew what I looked like. And plus, I've changed in terms of how I was previously back uh, when I first did my first ever Q&A. But um, if you guys could manage to hit over five likes on this video, like we did for the Let's Chat video, that'd be absolutely awesome. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And uh, without further ado, we'll get straight into these questions. See what, guys, see what you guys want to know about me. And uh, if you guys want to see some more Q&As, leave more questions down below in the comments on this video. And I'll try and do it every Sunday if you guys send in the questions. If I don't get enough questions, I won't do a Q&A. So it's as simple as that. If you want to see it every Sunday, you guys have got to send in the questions. But without further ado, we'll get into the five questions I think that were sent in today. And uh, we'll answer them in a bit of detail. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Our first question comes in from Calum Brady. I think I was, sorry if I pronounced that wrong because I know exactly who you are. And he says, did you like the knife 1v1? So shout out to you, first of all, for sending in the question. It does mean a lot that you sent it in. Um, and uh, yes, I did like the knife 1v1. Uh, in Black Ops 2, we had a knife 1v1. I think it was probably maybe even a 2v2 or 1v1. I don't even know. And I was the best, clearly. I was just stabbing away because I'm just so good. Uh, so yeah, I really did enjoy the knife 1v1. It was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, if you a personal joke between me and him, hashtag Wednesday. Next up then is going to be coming in from Nightmare Fox. <laughs> he's got Fox in his name. What a legend! And he's put, "What has inspired you to do YouTube?" Um, I think it's watching all of the other big YouTubers that inspired me to start doing YouTube. So, if you don't know, I watch the likes of I, I watch KY Speedy occasionally. I used to watch his Black Ops Two videos literally all the time. Uh, I watch like Vanos Gaming and the Sidemen. They're like the main three sets of YouTubers, obviously, that I watch. But um, they sort of like inspired me to do what I do today because like I sw I was watching their videos and they were so funny and like they would do obviously they were doing it with all their friends and things and it was just a lot of fun to see them do that and it was like do you know what I it would actually kind of be good because I do at the moment I am having so I'm having loads of fun doing YouTube just putting it straight out there it's so much fun. I just jump online, I just record and I edit and put it up and the amount of good feedback as well, the positive feedback as well that I do get uh, very, very much. Apart from Advanced Warfare, it's the only one I never get positive feedback on but we don't really care about Advanced Warfare anymore because I don't do any more videos on Advanced Warfare. But um, going that's going off topic now. But um, the feedback that I also get also inspires me to continue. Like as soon as, like, as, soon as a like rating comes on the video, that's all that um, sort of helps me to continue doing YouTube. And that's what sort of inspires me as well, is if you can do it right, you will go to a very good level in YouTube. And that's what I want to try and get to. It's going to take a long time, obviously. But that's inspired me initially was watching all the big YouTubers and then sort of wanting to do it. And what's given me more inspiration and more belief of doing YouTube and carrying on is all the positive feedback that you guys get. You guys give either just leaving a like rating or if you just drop a comment as well. And also actually getting a couple of... Um, also, the dislikes do actually help you. Sometimes, obviously, you get some people that dislike your videos and they are literally just saying, you're an ass, no one likes you, sod off. Well, for my fact, you sod off. Second of all, like, if someone puts in the comments, like, say, some, some sort of improvement, you do it and then, obviously, they get, they'll come back to you and say, that's absolutely awesome, and then people start agreeing with you, it sort of inspires you to continue doing it. It gives you more of a belief, and it's just a lot of fun doing it that way, but, um, the main reason, or well, the main thing that inspired me to do it is from uh, watching other people's YouTube videos. Next question is going to come in from JJ Conk. How's it going? He says, what is your opinion on Fleazy123? Um, okay, so I know someone who's called, who's got a YouTube channel of Fleazy HD, um, and he's a friend of mine in from uh, school, so I'm going to hope that that's him. If it's not, then... I don't know who Fleazy123 is, but Fleazy123, if it's the person that I has got the YouTube channel of Fleazy HD, he's a good person and he's also an Arsenal supporter. So yeah, that also makes him a great that also makes him a great person. But if it's not, then I don't know because I don't know him. Um, next up then is going to be coming in from Drew O'Neill, and he says, Foxy, how did you get all di how did you get diamond camo on all your guns in Black Ops 2? 
with a nice big fat smiley face. Um, I got diamond camos in, or I got diamond on every single camo of my gun in Black Ops 2 by trying my balls off, okay? Black Ops 2 is a game which, uh, obviously, it's been out probably nearly even four years now. So that's kind of one reason why I've got where I am in terms of the camos is because I've been do it's been out for such a long time that you probably should have been able to get all the gun done by now if you've got the game when it was literally released. But if you guys are looking to try and get some diamond camos if you're still playing the game, I recommend going and playing some hardcore gameplays. I do play hardcore domination a lot of the time. Um, play hardcore team deathmatch as well. They're the easiest ones because it's a lot. It's a lot less health taken. So for the guns, they're like the executioner or shotguns. Or if you're trying to go for headshots, in fact, you don't need to constantly be accurate in your hit markers. You will get a lot of headshots, and you can get some really high scores as well in uh, Black Ops 2. And some of the challenges that they do offer as well is um, are pretty difficult, especially with the rocket launchers and things like that. It's a lot. It's a lot of luck that you need to get them done. But you also need to um, probably play hardcore. That's how I played. That's what I did. Played hardcore and had a lot of fun doing it. And that's how I got my cameras in Black Ops 2. And that's why I still play it today. And give you guys funny moments videos. Because it's just a fun game still to play. Right then, so the final question for today, which is the only question, the final question that I got given was from Owen Jones. And uh, he says, for the Q&A... Who is your favourite Formula 1 driver and who is your favourite Formula 1 team? Now, if you guys, from the Let's Chat video, not the Let's Chat video, the Q&A announcement video that I did last week, I did a Formula 1 uh, gameplay. Now, I was actually just, I was literally playing that live. So that gameplay you saw was a live gameplay. I was recording just whilst I was in the race as well. Um, and I'm a big, big fan of Formula 1. I just actually watched the race, uh, which happened today. Uh, just as I just watched the race and I've come to record this. So, um... My favourite Formula 1 driver has to be Lewis Hamilton, uh, basically because I'm, he's always been quick whenever he's in a Formula 1 car, and I also love his aggression and passion for the sport. And my favourite F1 team is probably is going to have to be the Mercedes team, just because that's the team he drives for, because I always supported Hamilton, mostly I support him because in 2008, when he won his first championship, um, it was either him or a Brazilian called Felipe Massa, and because I wasn't fully into it then, I decided to support the British in winning the championship so of course I supported Hamilton a lot then got to got to understand him a lot more and then eventually obviously I've now come to support him quite a lot now of as, as of today although he didn't have a good race if you have seen the race today it was pretty eventful but uh, yeah they're my two fit that's my favorite uh, driver and that is my favorite F1 uh, team and he also did request as well for some more F1 videos um, I might start a co-op career mode. I'll probably do it with Reese because he's the only one who actually has uh, F1 on the three on the Xbox One. Um, and if that goes down well, um, I will probably do those every couple of days uh, to switch it up a little bit. But they're all the questions that I got from you guys. Thank you ever so much for sending in questions. It does mean a lot to me that I can be able to do this Q&A thanks to you. If you can hit over five likes on this video, that'd be absolutely awesome. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. It would mean the world to me. And if you want to send in more questions, leave them in the comments section down below on this video. Facebook or Twitter, their links are my, well, my links to them are in the description. And until then, I will speak to you on another video. Take care. See ya.